Because Oedipus the King by Sophocles is the first play that we'll be reading for English 248A, I wanted to make a short video just to refresh the format of plays so that when you're reading Oedipus the King, you know where to find the pieces of information that can help you to visualize what this would have looked like as an actual performed play, not just a piece of literature on a piece of paper. So on this excerpt from Oedipus the King, I've color-coded four different uh, types of information that you're going to be looking for when you're reading a play script. Uh, so first we're going to talk about the setting, which I put in purple. Next we're going to talk about information about the characters, which I put in blue. We're going to talk about the dialogue, which I've put in red. And then we're going to talk about stage directions, which I've put in green. So starting with the setting. Uh, the setting is simply the term we use to refer to the place and the time of the scenes in the play. Oftentimes, what you're going to see in Oedipus the King and other plays is that this will be described at the start of the scene. So here in the section that's uh, circled in purple uh, to go with the setting, uh, you'll see that we have a description of the location and the time for this first scene. So it says we're before the Palace Royal in Thebes, so that's our place. Uh, we get a description of what the place looks like. So the palace has an imposing central double door. Two altars stand near it, one is to Apollo. The delegation of Thebans enters, carrying olive branches wound with wool strips. Oedipus enters through the great doors. So this is just describing to us, once again, the place and the time of the scene. Um, in terms of characters, this is just the term we use to refer to the people in the scene. Uh, you'll notice that the names of the characters are written in all capital letters on the sides of the dialogue here. So for instance, Oedipus, who is our first speaker in this excerpt from the play, uh, we see his name Oedipus in all capital letters over here on the left. Uh, the next speaker in this excerpt from the play is a priest. So once again, we see priest, uh, the name that the character is referred to here in all capital letters over here on the left. So that's how you can tell which character is speaking in the dialogue. Uh, next, let's talk about dialogue, that word I've been using a lot. Um, dialogue is just the fancy term for the words that are spoken in the scene. Um, so if we look down here in red, uh, what we have here is one exchange of dialogue between two characters. Uh, each character's dialogue is in a separate red circle here. So first we have the dialogue, the words that are spoken out loud here by Oedipus. Then in the second red circle, we have the words that are spoken out loud, the lines uh, by the priest. Um, so for instance, here for Oedipus, he starts off by saying, I've sent Crayon, my wife's brother, to Phobos at Delphi to hear what action or what word of mine will save this town. So these are words that Oedipus is actually speaking out loud in the scene. They're not his interior thoughts. Um, they're actually the words spoken out loud. So that's dialogue. Uh, the last thing we should talk about when we're refreshing ourselves on play script format uh, are stage directions, and I put these in green. So stage directions uh, in this type of play describe the visible actions in the scene. Uh, you'll notice that in the formatting of the play Oedipus in your textbook, uh, these are in italics, um, so the kind of slanted lettering, uh, slanted off to the right. Uh, they are also in your textbook enclosed in parentheses. So stage directions are actually quite easy to spot. Uh, so here, a uh, stage direction in this particular scene uh, is that Crayon enters from the countryside wearing a laurel crown speckled with red. So this is a visible action we would see um, uh, during the play. So we would see Crayon enter from the countryside. Um, we would see that he is wearing this um, type of headpiece, a laurel crown with red. So this is just our quick refresh, refresher on play script formatting. Once again, uh, four places where you guys can find information about how to envision the scene. Uh, the setting, which here is in purple. The characters, which here are in blue. Uh, the dialogue, which here is in red. And the stage directions, which here are in green. And I've also scanned a copy of this color-coded excerpt from Oedipus the King and put it in the files folder for this particular module. Hope this helps a little bit. I uh, hope you're having a good day. Take care.